Hey everyone, it's John here with AZ Holistic in the CBD studio. We want to go over the different types of products to inhale your CBD medication. These are three products that we sell in the store that all take liquid CBD and allow you to inhale your CBD products with these small little devices. So we're going to start with the Aspire Breeze. All these devices pretty much do the same thing, but they're just slightly different. But the most important thing we want to go over with you is some of the things we have to typically spend a lot of time in the store with customers going over the demonstration. Honestly, the FDA has actually changed some laws and we are not supposed to even take these out of the box anymore. So now we want to do this video to show you exactly how to unbox the product, how to prime the coil, and how to get the most out of your device. So we're going to start with the Aspire Breeze. The top comes off. That just keeps the lint or dust out of the tip. The tip comes off. Okay, that's your mouthpiece. And that exposes the coil. Okay, so this just unscrews. Okay, there is a little screwdriver on the bottom of the coil that allows you to use it if it's a little bit over tight. And that's one thing we want to talk about. Never over tighten that coil. Okay, we don't want to over tighten it. We don't want to strip it. So this is where we place the coil in the breeze. It comes with two coils, okay, and the coils simply screw right on to the bezel, just like that. Has, this does have to be tight. If that is not tight, the device will just blink at you saying something's wrong. So that coil does have to be tight. Now you're going to fill your material right in here, right in that little reservoir. Okay, so grab your CBD medication, drop it in there, only fill it up to the line. Don't go over the line or it will overflow. Put your coil in, tighten it up finger tight so it's snug. Then you use the little screwdriver and just literally do an eighth of a turn just to make it snug, just like that. Put your top back on, your mouthpiece, and your ready to prime the coil. Now this priming we're going to talk about is consistent through all these devices. Okay? How do we prime the coil? Well, we fill it up and we want the coil, okay, to become completely saturated. So the best way to do it is to leave the device off. And to leave it off you want to make sure that you, one, two, three, four, five, now you can see it blinking. We press the button once, the light goes on, so we know it's on. We're going to turn it off. One, two, three, four, five. So even before you turn it on, after you have filled it up, you want to take about 10 or 15 pulls, just like you're vaping, to pull the juice through the coil, and that saturates the coil like a wet sponge in the sink, and that will allow the cotton to be very saturated so when you do decide to vape, you're getting vapor, you're not burning the coil. This is the number one problem. People do not prime their coil well enough. Now you can either let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and it will soak up by osmosis. It'll just soak up by itself. If you want to vape faster, you're going to take about 10 or 15 pulls and that will prime your coil. Okay? So that's the breeze. Now let's talk about the Nexus. This is made by Vaporesso. It also comes with two coils. It also just pulls off from the top nice and easy. This little mouthpiece comes right off. Now we have the coil, very similar to the breeze. The difference is that you don't have to fill it there. This little black plug, this plug right next to the coil, you just pull it open and this is where you fill the nexus, right in there. Okay? And then once you're tank is full, it only takes two and a half milliliters. That means two eyedroppers and a half. Okay, and that will fill the tank. And then you just take the little plug, pop it back in there. It's just a little rubber plug. You just push it in and it's ready to go. Put your mouthpiece back on. Same priming mechanism, okay, with that one. And the third device is our tried and true Joytech AIO. Okay, this is childproof, so you do have to push down to open the top. You push down and back it up, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Put your coil right on here, 
fill your liquid halfway. There's a little line. It's kind of hard to see on the video, but there's a line halfway up. Fill it up halfway. Put your coil back in. Tighten it up. Same deal. Put it in your mouth. Don't hyperventilate. Don't do it so that you get, you know, lightheaded. Wait a couple seconds. Take a breath. Do that about 10 or 15 times. What that's doing, again, is pulling the juice through the coil to get it nice and saturated. Then you turn the device on. Every single one of these devices, folks, one, two, three, four, five, turns it on. I can't tell you how many calls we get from people every single week saying it won't go on, it won't turn on. Why doesn't it turn on? Because it has to be one, two, three, four, five in unison. If you decide to try one, two, three, four, five, it will not work. If you do one, two, three, four, five, it won't work. How many other ways can I say it? It's literally one, two, three, four, five in total unison. You can see that the device is flashing, so we know that it's on, and the light is now on. Okay? With the AIO, there are different colors. So when it's off, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to turn it off for you. So if you forget if it's on or off, just hit the button one time, just like that. I had a gentleman call the store today, which prompted this video for you. Don't ever press the button. Don't ever press and hold the button unless you're drawing, unless you have your mouth on it and you're pulling. That's how you burn the coil. You never ever press the button and hold it without drawing on it, without the oxygen from your breath. It will burn the coil and that is your responsibility to make sure you don't do that. So I forget if it's on or off, so I'm just going to hit the button one time. The light does not go on, we know it's off. So while this device is off, if you press and hold the button down, it's going to turn the light on and you can cycle through dark blue, green, aqua, red, pink, and then the urine color that nobody ever picks. Okay? So pick your color. The green one shows up pretty much the best. And now the color is set. You're ready to go ahead and fill the device. And again, if you're not sure if it's on or off because it does go to sleep, just press it one time. When the light comes on, we know that it's on. If the light doesn't come on, we know that it's been turned off. Okay? So most important thing to remember with any of these devices, fill up your tank, prime the coil by pulling on it with the device off with regard to the Nexus. Again, to turn the Nexus on, we have a little button, one, two, three, four, five, and it turns it on. One, two, three, four, five, turns it off. Okay, there's a little light right here. You gotta kinda use your fingernail, because on the Lexus it's very small. So there we go. And there are three settings on the Nexus. There's low, medium, and high. So right now, if we hit the button, we can see that it's white. So that's low. One, two, three is gonna change it to green, which is the middle setting, and one, two, three is going to change it now to red to the high setting. Okay, three settings. This is all in the manual. So once you get your product, you can go ahead and put your coil in, put your liquid in, prime it, and then make sure that it's primed before you pull. So now let's finish with the final on the breeze. Once you have it full, once you have primed it, 10 to 15 pulls. It should be primed. The first time you take a pull on your device, you're going to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. I can see the button is lit, so now we know it's on. The first pull you take, folks, do a small pull, like two or three seconds. Press the button. And this device, you don't have to press the button. You can, but you don't have to. They pretty much work on vacuum. But you're just going to take a short pull and you're going to taste and find out whether or not you taste any burnt flavor. If there's anything burnt, you have to continue priming. If there's no burnt flavor and you just taste your juice, it's ready to go. Okay, so hopefully that helps you guys understand the important way to prime your coils on all these devices, which are all designed for liquid CBD. And then if you have any comments, you can go ahead and leave a comment. Thanks.